Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train and today we are going to discuss about food allergens and allergenicity. First of all, let's see what is allergy. Allergy is a condition in which the immune system reacts abnormally to a foreign substance. Or it can be said as a hypersensitive immune response to a foreign matter. And the symptoms of allergy which may be mild to severe and sometimes it will be life threatening also. And this allergy is also sometimes it's called as allergic diseases and which may include hay fever, food allergies, allergic asthma and anaphylaxis. This anaphylaxis is a life threatening symptom of allergy and it can be fatal. Then what is allergens? Allergens are a type of antigen that produce abnormally vigorous immune response or simply these allergens are the triggers which cause allergy or the foreign substance which cause allergy are known as allergens. And what do you mean by allergenicity? Allergenicity is the allergic potential that is the potential of a material to cause sensitization and allergic reactions. Allergenicity or the allergic potential, it is the potential of a material, that is the potential of the allergens to cause sensitization and allergic reactions. Food sensitivities. Food sensitivity is the diffuse reaction to a food. And it can be immunological or non-immunological in nature. The food sensitivities include food allergy, food intolerance, food toxicity and food aversion. They sound similar but they are not actually. Then we can see in detail about food allergy. Food allergy is an immune system reaction that occurs soon after eating a certain food. Even a tiny amount of the allergy causing food can trigger signs and symptoms which may include digestive problems, hives or swollen airways. In some people food allergy can cause severe sim symptoms or even a life threatening reaction known as anaphylaxis. Actually this food allergy is an abnormal response to a food triggered by your body's immune system. And there are mainly eight categories of food which are associated with this food allergy which we will discuss in the later slides. Then coming to food intolerance. Food intolerance also known as a non-IgE mediated food hypersensitivity or non-allergic food hypersensitivity. This refers to difficulty in digesting certain foods. It is important to note that food intolerance is different from the food allergy. Food allergy is immunological in nature but the food intolerance is non-immunological or non-IgE mediated hypersensitivity. The food allergies trigger the immune system while food intolerance does not. And the symptoms of food intolerance tend to take a longer to appear than symptoms of allergies. And the symptoms are varied and can include migraine, cough, stomach ache, etc. And some food intolerance is caused by the lack of uh, particular enzymes. That is the enzymes uh, that are needed to digest foods fully. If some of these enzymes are missing or insufficient, proper digestion may be undermined. Example, some people who are lactose intolerant, actually they do not have enough lactase. Lactase is an enzyme that breaks down milk sugar lactose into smaller molecules that the body can break down further and absorb through the intestine. If this lactose remains in the digestive tract, it can cause spasm, stomach ache, blotting, diarrhea and gas etc. Some chemicals in foods also causes food intolerance. 
that certain chemicals in foods and drinks can cause intolerance including the amines in some cheese and caffeine in coffee tea and chocolates and some people are more susceptible to these chemicals than the others this is about food intolerance next is food toxicity food toxicity it's an adverse food reaction due to the presence of toxins naturally occurring foods it is an adverse reaction food reaction due to the presence of toxins in food some foods have naturally occurring chemicals that have a toxic effect which may cause diarrhea nausea and vomiting and this food toxicity is also a non immunological reaction and it is now associated with ige example is in undercooked beans which have aflatoxins that can cause extremely unpleasant digestive problems and in case of fully cooked beans as in case of fully cooked beans they lack this aflatoxins Hence, people may wonder when they react to the beans after one meal and not after another. That is the reason. That is, the flood toxins may degrade while cooking. This is about food toxicity. And coming to food aversion. What do you mean by food aversion? Food aversion is a strong dislike to a particular food. The food aversion may be psychological in nature. That is, some persons are psychologically convinced that certain foods disagree with them uh, but when tested fail to react to that food when if we done some allergy test and all uh, they fail to react to that food it, simply because of their psychological belief that they have some emotions and another emotion of this would emotion we will observe in time of a pregnancy coming to in detail about food allergens as we already said there are eight ty eight types of food which causes food allergies which include the peanuts milk shellfish tree nuts eggs fish wheat and soy among these the peanuts are the most important allergens which are causing allergies that is about 25.2 percentage of the whole world is suffering from peanut allergy this peanut allergy is a serious lifelong allergy in case of this peanut there are two major allergens present and this is present in a raw peanut as well as roasted peanut as these allergens are heat stable in nature then coming to milk allergy about 2 to 7.5 percentage of the world population is suffering from milk allergy that is the infants mostly the infants are suffering from milk allergy the case in fact fraction is the most important allergen is which is present in products like cheese and this case in fraction it's heat stable and hence heating reduces it but does not eliminate this allergenicity then coming to shellfish about 17.2 percentage of the world population is suffering from shellfish allergy and also coming to fish 6.2 percentage of the world population is suffering from fish allergy and this um, that is potent allergens that are stable they are st uh, heat stable in nature and the best known allergens present in fish are allergen yam so when you are eating some blue foods that is especially the sea foods uh, for the first time take a small bite chew it well and give yourself little time before the second time thus we can recognize or test if you have some allergy with this foods or not then coming to wheat allergy about 5% of the world's population is suffering from wheat allergy 
and uh, soy allergy 4.6 percentage of the world population is suffering from soy allergy uh, about 9.8 percentage of the world population is suffering from x allergy and 13.1 percentage of the world population is suffering from tree nuts including almonds thistle nuts etc next section is a food allergy diagnosis it's not easy to determine whether somebody has a food intolerance of aller or allergy because the signs and symptoms of an overlap certain patterns in the symptoms can help a doctor distinguish between the two in the vast majority of the cases food intolerance symptoms may take much longer to appear than the food allergies some of some of the food allergy diagnosis tests include rash test sage test blind or double blind test food cytotoxic blood test and sublingual provocation food testing what do you mean by this rash test rash test is radio allergo sorbent testing radio allergo sorbent testing it detects allergen that is the allergen specific ige in the blood rash test detects the allergen specific ige in the blood next one is sage test it's a particular test to determine if you are allergic to sage that is it's also known as salvia allergic test Sage is salvia allergic test. It's a test used to detect if you are allergic to sage. Individuals who are allergic to sage may also be allergic allergic to thyme or oregano, and it is recommended to get tested for allergies to these herbs as well if an individual has a positive sage allergy test. and next one is the blind or double blind test the double blind food challenge it's a funny test has become the gold standard of allergy testing that is various foods some of which are suspected of inducing allergy reaction are each placed in an individual opaque capsule and the patient is asked to, and the patient is asked to uh, swallow that opaque capsules and is then watched to see if a reaction occurs this process is repeated until the capsules have been swallowed in a true double blind test the doctor is also blinded that is the capsules are having being made by some other medical person so that neither the patient nor the doctor knows which capsule contains the allergens This advantage of such a challenge is that if the patient has a reaction only to suspected foods and not to other foods tested, it confirms the diagnosis. Someone with a history of severe reactions, however, cannot be tested in this way. In addition, this testing is expensive because it takes a lot of time to perform, and multiple food allergies are difficult to evaluate with this procedure. In this double blind test the patient is asked to swallow a opaque capsule which contains the allergens and the patient is observed for an allergy food cytotoxic blood test it's also known as cytotoxic testing brand's testing or the metabolic intolerance test or sensitivity testing Next one is a sublingual provocation food testing. To test the substances under this test, to test the substances under the tongue, that is sublingually, a food or other concentrate is placed under the tongue, and the reactions are noted. If the patient experiences a symptom, this is completely is taken at the as the end point. This is all about the food allergy diagnosis, and this is all about the food allergens and allergenicity. And the, you know, if you want to avoid a food allergy, please keep avoid the food allergens. And thank you for listening this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe our channel, share the link with your friends, and leave your valuable comments for a further improvement. Thank you.